On December 6th, the faithful commemorates St. Nicholas of Myra, a bishop in the early church who was known for generosity and love of children. Because of the many miracles attributed to his intercession, he is also known as Nicholas the Wonder Worker. His reputation evolved among the pious, as was common for early Christian saints, and his legendary habit of secret gift-giving gave rise to the traditional model of Santa Claus. St. Nicholas was a bishop who lived in the 4th century in a place called Myra in Asia Minor, now called Turkey. He was a very rich man because his parents died when he was young and left him a lot of money. He was also a very kind man and had a reputation for helping the poor and giving secret gifts to people who needed it. There are several legends about St. Nicholas. The most famous story about him tells how the custom of hanging up stockings to put presents in first started. It goes like this. There was a poor man who had three daughters. The man was so poor that he did not have enough money for a dowry, so his daughters couldn't get married. One night, Nicholas secretly dropped a bag of gold down the chimney and into the house. The bag fell into a stocking that had been hung by the fire to dry. This is why children leave their shoes out by the door or hang their stockings by the fireplace in the hopes of receiving a gift on the eve of his feast. This was repeated later with the second daughter. Finally, determined to discover the person who had given him the money, the father secretly hid by the fire every evening until he caught Nicholas dropping in a bag of gold. Nicholas begged the man not to tell anyone what he had done, because he did not want to bring attention to himself. But soon the news got out, and when anyone received a secret gift, it was thought that maybe it was from Nicholas. St. Nicholas is not only the saint of children, but also of sailors. One story tells of him helping some sailors that were caught in a bad storm off the coast of Turkey. The storm was raging around them, and all the men were terrified that their ship would sink beneath the giant waves. They prayed to St. Nicholas to help them. Suddenly he was standing on the deck before them. He ordered the sea to be calm. The storm died away, and they were able to sail their ship safely to port. St. Nicholas is associated with Christmas, because of the tradition that he had the custom of giving secret gifts to children. It is also assumed that the saint, who was known to wear red robes and have a long white beard, was culturally converted into the large man with a reindeer-drawn sled full of toys, because in German his name is San Nicolas, which almost sounds like Santa Claus. St. Nicholas was exiled from Myra and later put in prison during the persecution of Christians by the Emperor Diocletian. No one really knows when he died, but it was on 6 December in either 345 or 352. In 1087, his bones were stolen from Turkey by some Italian merchant sailors. The bones are now kept in the church named after him in the Italian port of Bari. On St. Nicholas's feast day on 6 December, the sailors of Bari still carry his statue from the cathedral out to the sea so that he can bless the waters and so give them safe voyages throughout the year. St. Nicholas is the patron of children and of sailors. His intercession is sought by the shipwrecked, by those in difficult economic circumstances and for those affected by fires. Placing all our petitions before St. Nicholas today, let us pray. We humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, to protect us in all dangers through the prayers of the Bishop St. Nicholas that the way of salvation may lie open before us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.